feature in Word today called Show Hide. And you can find this on the Home tab. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph section, there's a button here, and it's called Show Hide. And essentially what it does is it's kind of a, a tool that you can use to decode a Word document. Word always does these weird things for us, right? Where, you know, <clears throat> editing and something else happens on some other page. And we think it's like voodoo, some thing that's possessed on our computer. And it's typically not. Um, it's usually us. It's usually the way we've created this document or someone's created it. Um, and we just don't create it in the same manner. So, I have a pretty straightforward document. I've got some different sections here. <clears throat> and I like to go over how it was created. I want to know. So, as an example, this looks like a nice cover page. I'm just going to zoom out here. So, there's a cover page, nice title on it, thing starts on the next page. So let's just say I came here and I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to add my name. So I'm going to hit enter, put in my name, and I go, okay, good, let's keep going. But now all of a sudden it's pushed all my text down. Now, I would have known that that was about to happen had I used the show hide button. So here's how it works. Home tab, click the show hide button. What it does is it shows you non-printed characters. So I can see that this in fact was not done using a page break, which is what I might have expected. And it was done just by hitting enter a bunch of times, which means I'd have to come down here and remove those. Um, which in Word, this is not the proper way to do it. We would have used page break and we can go over that in another video. Here I can see that I have paragraph spacing done by hitting an extra return. Again, something we wouldn't want to do in Word, but I can see now that that has happened here. I also have these two lists. I can see that the arrow represents a tab, which means that this list was set up using tab stops, a very effective way to do it. Whereas the one below was set up using spaces. For a space, it will put in a dot. And I can see it here as well, they're not totally balanced columns, whereas tab stops are perfectly balanced. So we have uh, these arrows for tabs, dots for spaces, the paragraph marker for paragraphs, soft return is indicated by a little return symbol and so i can kind of see how this was set up and this was created as soon as i turn it off all of those items disappear it's a regular document this doesn't affect printing so whether it's on or off it's not going to affect how this prints out